Breckenridge County looks to have taken the brunt of this morning's storms. Students at one of the elementary schools there forced to reroute to the high school after learning theirs took a hit. Our Alden German and photojournalist Jessica Farley are around McDaniel, McDaniels, Kentucky right now checking out the damage, Alden. Brooke, that's right. We're standing in front of Ben Johnson Elementary School. It's near Litchfield here in rural uh, Breckenridge County, and you can see some damage behind me. Also some damage here on the playground, which itself uh, really isn't too bad. Just really some sightings, but most of the damage is on the roof. You can uh, if you pan around there. You can see it right on the top of the corner. Now I spoke to the assistant superintendent earlier who said thankfully there were no children in the school at the time when this damage occurred right around seven o'clock, but they were on the way to school and then then they redirected them to the uh, Breckenridge County High School, uh, and that's where they're going to be for the remainder of today. They have about 200 students that attend uh, the elementary school here. Only some teachers were inside at the time when she got the phone call that there was some damage. They have the roof damage and they have some uh, water damage on the inside as well. This is what she had to say earlier uh, and when it came to having to deal with all of this. So last second, right before school started. We just want to thank the community, thank our parents and the staff. I mean, staff at multiple schools have chipped in and helped today. And so we're just so appreciative of everyone's patience as we work through this emergency this morning. Again, that was Assistant Superintendent uh, Jamie Knuckle of the Breckenridge County Public Schools. Now, she says they aren't quite sure yet what exactly their plan is going to be for school tomorrow or for next week. They still have the damage teams here surveying and seeing just how extensive everything is. There were no injuries, thankfully, and as you just heard her say, she's very thankful for how quickly everybody was able to respond at the last moment. She also extended special thanks to the high school for making those accommodations for so many children. So they have some emergency managers crews down here right now. She says it's they don't know how long it's going to take to really assess that damage. But the most important thing, of course, is that nobody was hurt. There weren't any kids in the building. And she also said that events like this, if there were children in the building, are why they practice their tornado drills. And she says they, you know, continually do them. They stress the importance of them. And if there were children here, they would have taken the necessary steps that they needed to. Reporting live in Breckenridge County, I'm Alden German, WHAS 11 on your side.